yep boys i finally touched grass and i finally got off forza horizon 5 so as you see by the title today we're gonna be the talking in today's video i'll be talking about how windows 11 is compared to roblox you know talking about roblox's performance and such on windows 11 so let's get straight into it <laughs> So right away, one thing I can't really say is that I don't really notice much of a difference when it comes to performance. I'm going to turn on my FPS unlocker just so you guys can see how much FPS I get at spawn in a server alone. So it's around 90. That's not really great considering my specs, but um, Roblox optimization be like, um, I don't know at this point. Um, so yeah so let's talk about it a lot of people don't have windows 11 from what i'm seeing they're asking oh we got windows 11 and all that right so i noticed that a lot of people actually don't have windows 11 so we're gonna talk about that so roblox wise there's really no difference at all um you know it's just the new ui and stuff so i guess i could go over it real quick so yeah let's get into that so first when here's the new starting screen if you press your windows button you can see all the stuff right here you have your pinned apps you have instagram facebook and all that stuff right i don't use spotify anymore i use apple music um you have your file explorer movie and stuff and overall this kind of reminds me of chrome os not gonna lie I got my Forza Horizon 5 and all that. So when you search something like Forza Horizon 5, it pops up like usual, you know? So it's just a nicer layout. We'll go to settings real quick. Um, so uh, yeah, as you see, it says your desktop. It shows your actual desktop wallpaper. So this is a little bit different and a little bit more confusing in my opinion. You have your display sound and all this stuff under system. You scroll down all this stuff is here now my favorite feature about this is um you see this right so you can always click back by one so you don't have to completely click out of that menu i have a 75 hertz monitor so if i want to skip back to display only i can do that but if i want to come to here and then skip all the way back to system i can do that really good so um i'll actually show off something else let's go back to roblox right and uh as you see i can put settings like this and then the other screen can be roblox it's a really cool feature i really like this feature a lot very useful um i do this a lot on my second monitor which you guys actually can't see but on my second monitor i basically have obs and discord open so i can monitor all my volumes and stuff so yeah i can make quick adjustments and such like that so yeah overall really good and give me a second anyways back on topic um we have all our stuff here you can do it in different layouts too um if you want to do like really small and say you want to do like this and then you can put a third application in uh, i could put a third app in the middle so say i want to show my obs stuff um for obs it's not perfect of course but i'm just gonna put that on the other stuff i did just do my project for uh, reading but yeah then you can go back like that um really easy um but yeah that's the main part about it this isn't a windows 11 uh how to video and all the features and stuff but you get the point performance isn't really changed um yeah but i have been having a few bugs with forza horizon 5 but that might just be forza horizon 5 so i can't really answer that for you but yeah y'all if y'all enjoyed today's video be sure to like comment subscribe and yeah this has been Vuxery, and i am out